Greetings, Mac Warriors. Phil here from My Little Pony Painting. Um, I've been asked by Travis from HPG Renegade to do a tutorial series on this handsome Battlemaster, uh, painted up in the Davian Guards color scheme, uh, blue with the red and white pinstripes. So I thought I would start off with, uh, we're going to take this guy off its base, really, really simple, and then we're going to clean up some of the mold lines on it as well, because there are uh, qu quite a few I can spot here on this guy, kind of the top, a lot of the panel edges and stuff like that. <clears throat> so this is kind of my all-purpose knife. We're just going to pop out the old blade, throw it on the side. I generally have a one general use knife that I use. Um, and then if I'm doing something like cleaning away something for painting purposes, like I want to get this guy with nice sharp edges, uh, I want to make sure I have a really sharp blade on the end. You don't want it to be dull. I find uh, doing things like GW plastics, I end up cutting a lot, but I also scrape a lot too. Uh, on these uh, Catalyst Game Labs miniatures, I tend to do more just cutting. <clears throat> I don't I don't scrape a lot. I find the mold lines don't like to be scraped. So, uh, biggest thing, just really sharp knife, and then you don't need a whole lot of pressure when you have a sharp knife. So I'm just going to cruise around the manager here. I'm just looking for any kind of raised portions that I think are going to be a problem later on. I try and skim those down. And I'm not too worried about cutting a little bit deep because you're really not going to notice those kind of indents. <clears throat> With these miniatures specifically, you're going to want to put in a little bit of effort uh, at the beginning to get it nice and clean. See, so kind of right here along the top. As long as I get that flush, then when I airbrush it later, it's not going to be super apparent. Whereas if I leave them, so I'll cut this one straight across, perfect. Um, if I leave them on, they will be very apparent as we go through the later steps. Um, when we get to oil washing, they're going to be a problem. Uh, they're going to look gross when we airbrush, especially when we start highlighting with our airbrush. Underside here. Yeah, a lot of the injection points are just pretty pretty gnarly. <clears throat> this plastic, like I said, doesn't like to be scraped. You're probably just going to ding up your blade, and uh, and you're probably going to be making more of a mess than you're, than you're cleaning up. So I just try and turn it around, lots of different angles. Sometimes you'll get a line that'll shoot a whole one side down the miniature, and other parts it's uh it's only there for a couple of centimeters. I really do love the designs on a lot of these, the newer catalyst uh, plastics just you really do want to make sure you clean them up because otherwise once you're finished and you're happy with your beautiful paint job it really detracts from it <clears throat> if you're uh, if you're going to be like weathering something you probably don't need to worry so much about the extra nicks and gouges like if you're being a little aggressive with your knife because it's all just going to add into the texture and whatnot you would add with your weathering, but for a fancy clean parade scheme like we're wanting to do with this guy, we want to do our best to keep him nice and ship shape here. So just cutting, I'm, I'm really just cutting, cutting, no scraping, getting the point of my uh, my knife right into the, uh, the beginning of a, a line on a panel, beginning of a bold line, and then just dragging it, pulling the whole entire thing off. <clears throat> We're looking pretty good. A couple underside bits here. If it's completely in the underside and you know it's not going to be seen, like the very bottom underneath, underneath his little butt butt plates here, maybe you wouldn't worry about that so much. Personal preference, I guess. And as you paint more and more, you'll get more intimately aware of which parts are going to bother you or which parts will stand out the most. 
something like on a weapon barrel or something like that. It's going to look really, really go gross if you're doing uh, like heat effects or whatnot. Let's make sure that's nice and clean. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of times with plather plastics, you might just dig your knife in, scrape, scrape kind of like that, and it will remove the mold line fairly nicely. But on these plastics, it's very similar to war machine plastics, uh, war machine hordes. It just does not pull very well. The blade kind of skips skips and grinds down the, the length of whatever you're cutting. <clears throat> I think that's pretty good. I don't see anything that's jumping out at me. Legs. Yeah, usually, usually the knee pads or the like uh, armor plates on the knees connect down onto the legs. It'll carry down onto the feet a lot of the times too. If you're going to be doing, uh, we'll probably do an urban rubble base. I think was uh, was the plan for this guy. So we won't worry so much about the very bottom of the feet because it's going to be a little bit buried anyway. But the more you do now, the better off. Sometimes I'll find them while I'm painting, while I'm airbrushing. And as long as it's early on in the process, I don't mind just, I'll, I'll just grab my knife and I'll hack it off down to the plastic while I'm airbrushing. And then I'll just dab some, uh, some base color, like a dark blue in our case here, just to uh, cover up the, the plastic and then I'll kind of feather in some highlights as we go. But the more we can get here, the less we have to worry about it later. I think we're looking pretty good. So I'm gonna keep this blade in working order for doing more uh, grooves. Get a little. You know what? We're not even going to worry about it. There you go. Let's get the corner of it. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I'm going to switch my blade back now. I want to keep this blade for doing more edges later. So I'm going to just throw it back in my box, to be honest. And we're going to put our general multi purpose blade back on that I use for cutting decals and. scrounging stuff off off of uh, <clears throat> miniature bases. Uh, now we're going to remove them from the base. So I've just got a, a wet pallet under here, hard plastic. Um, I'm going to put them down on the table. We'll do the back foot first. I'm going to use the kind of the thicker part of the blade here. I'm just going to stick it between the foot and the base and kind of like a little bit of pressure. Back and forth, back and forth. Just kind of lever back and forth. Perfect. Cut through the little stub there. Flip this guy over. And do the same thing on this side. Easy. So you see the two little stubs there from the uh, mounting process. And then we'll either pull those out or just kind of fill them in a little bit. But now I can mount them on a piece of cork. So for that, I'm going to grab a, a pin vise and uh, drill out the bottom of the foot. Either some brass rod or some... Uh, floral gardening metal and we'll stick them on a piece of cork and it'll be easier for us to paint. Cool. I'll see you guys next one.